Hi, my name is George Barcenas, and I'm a professional development trainer for ViewSonic. Um, we are now going to get into huddles. Um, I said in another video that I think of it like a breakout room, um, but it's just basically the same concept of being able to have your own whiteboard, um, being able to break them into groups, and even having discussions and chats with them. Um, again, remember we are working on the whiteboard software online. So myviewboard.com, and we're clicking on the one called Classroom, and Classroom is what allows us to have a whiteboard that we can share with the students, that we can bring the students with us. So I'm gonna click on the one called Classroom. Um, here's the, the one I've been using. Remember the whiteboard software is over here on the right. And the public session ID is up on the top, on on the top, so the students can engage. Over here is my um, eyes on me button, and next to that is my dashboard. So when I click on the little classroom, I come into here, and this is where our huddles are formed. Okay, we've been working on, uh, you know, basically the basics of being able to get started, and now we're getting into some of the different ways you can do with collaboration. You notice right now I have two students. Okay, one is in red because they are not on the right screen and the other one's in green because they are on the right screen and I can check on the engagement tab on the right. Now, both of them are in huddle one. So if you look right now at the top of my dashboard, you notice that it says huddle one, two, three, four, and five. So notice they are both right now together working in the same group and they're with me. Notice right now, I am teaching, so we're working off one whiteboard, which is my whiteboard, and then we have the ability to break them up into different groups. Next to that, I have how many different groups do I want? So if I click on this, remember our cap on this is 30 uh, students that we can have, and so I can have where all 30 have their own unique whiteboard, or I can put them in groups, okay? I can choose to do this, so I'm gonna just show you how quickly you can change groups and go through that, or I could click on the random button, which just kind of breaks them up on their own, and you can do that. So this is something I have to do when I start this. How do I want them to be put into groups? Notice right now that second test and George are in the same group. So to move George to group five, all I have to do is drag him um, by his name and I just pulled them down to group five. So again, it's just a drag and drop uh, kind of concept and you see that I'm moving the student from group to group. So now I have second test in group one and I have George in group two. Right now, if you look at the their dashboards, you'll notice right now, on uh, this is a who is this? Is this a second test? Yes, this is a second test. You'll notice on second test right now it says teacher page one on the bottom because I'm basically been teaching from there and that's all the student has gotten. But you'll notice down here it's teacher page one. That's what the student has as their uh, panel. So if I click on the dashboard, let's get them into a discussion or let's get them to work on something. I'm going to click on the one instead of me being in front of the classroom kind of teaching from the chalkboard, let's put them all into their huddles. Now, here's the option when you click on this. So right now I'm gonna click on that. It's gonna ask me, how long do I want them? Uh, 10 minutes or no time limit. I can put as much time as I want on here or hit no time limit. I'm gonna leave it at 10 minutes so you can see what the countdown looks like. I'm gonna hit okay. Now that I've set it where I want them, I put them in the groups that I want them to be in and I hit okay, okay? Now here's what's gonna happen. It's gonna sharpen the pencils. And again, from my point of view, nothing magical has happened, okay? In my point of view, you'll notice that uh, they, they kind of look like they're in the same thing. Uh, notice that their tools now, um, the red uh, pen has been turned on, so you know that they have the ability to write. Um, I can turn on their microphone and I can check for raised hands inside their huddles. Now here's where the difference happened. If I go into um, the classroom one, you notice now on the bottom, it doesn't say teacher. Notice that George, uh, my name is gone. And now you notice that um, this is a uh, huddle, huddle one, I believe. So there's huddle one is there. Finish my H, that's horrible. But there's huddle number one. You notice there and it says page one, huddle one. And you notice now they're all in their separate groups as they work through things. 
from the teacher side right now, you notice that I'm looking at this, is I'm just looking at what they're working on. By hitting that little spinny um, icon at the top, it flips. I can see what they're working on as they're going through. So notice right now, let's like, let's flip over huddle number two. Uh, let me jump over here and do something on this screen so that you can see it. Let me just put in a shape actually. It's probably the easiest thing I can do. And then I wanna drop a shape in here and then uh, Oops, bigger one than that. So now I go through and you see that I was able to drop a shape in that. So you can watch what they're working on as they're going through. And then you have the ability to be able to see in their huddles what it looks like. Now you'll notice on the top right, see how there has a countdown from eight minutes in their own dashboards, in their own huddles. You'll notice they have the same countdown happening for them. So if I wanted to bring them back, so let's say 10 minutes, you know, I didn't, I didn't want to have them that long and I wanted to bring them back. I go from the grouping, so the grouping icon, to me going back to teach. And when I click on that, you notice now they're all backed with me. So now as I go through, you notice that I can see what they were uh, uh, working on there. I can go back and forth and see what they need to have a discussion about it um, going through. And then also what I like is I can actually go send them again to continue to work on it. So these are things in here that you have the ability to do that. So notice that on the whiteboard part here, all I have is the ability to create. I'm teaching. I'm the one navigating. But when I click on the dashboard icon on the bottom right, this is what it allows me to go into their whiteboards and then be able to give them all a pin. So again, the pin, the one with the me teaching is there. The one with them going into the huddles, I can see it there and I can go through and be able to um, be able to see what they're doing as they're doing it. So this is a quick way to kind of go into the huddles. Controls are all the same. So hopefully you're starting to see how those all play together and how you have the ability to do that. But this is a cool um, kind of quick way to get them into their own breakout rooms, huddles or giving them all their own whiteboard to work on. And that's something on there that you can see how what they come up with as they do that. So this is Huddles, and hopefully this will be something that you'll be able to use with your students and engage them in a different way. All right, I'll see you in the next video.